Hi, and welcome to TAM Studios. My name is Santos Bandari, and I am a technical account manager based out of Sydney, Australia. Today's feature review is on Screen Pop in CX Cloud from Genesis and Salesforce. Let's get started. Administrators can now customize the screen pop behavior in CX Cloud from Genesis and Salesforce. A screen pop configuration allows us to pop out the specific Salesforce pages. The CX Cloud from Genesis and Salesforce integration uses the GC underscore screen underscore pop attribute to pop out specific Salesforce pages for inbound call and callbacks. The screen pop can be standard Salesforce page a visual force page or a new record page with pre-populated data from an architect flow. In terms of how we want to open the new page, we can either open another record page in next tab along with the default voice record page or open multiple record pages. Also, we can open different pages in sub tabs with focus on a specific sub tab. Please visit the URL given below in the description to see different examples on how we can share this screen pop. So without any further delay, let's get into the demo. As you know, this process heavily relies on architect configuration. So I am here in my architect. My logic is to get the contact number from the caller and check if that person exists in our external contact list or not. So if that person doesn't exist in the external contact list, we will pop out the screen. So the screen pop out logic is right here where we will use the task called set participant data and then the inside the attribute we have gc underscore screen underscore pop and we are assigning a value. The value is position colon sub tab. Basically that means we want to open it on sub tab along with the default voice record page and we want to focus the contact page. Basically, we are adding this star sign in front of URL to focus the contact page. You can do a lot of customizations here. All the examples that you can do with the screen pop are mentioned on the resource center article and the URL is given below in the description. Simply, first it will check the ANI if that person exists in the external contact list it will simply transfer to ACD and there will be only default record page but if that person doesn't exist in the external contact list it will set participant data and set the screen pop which will open the new contact page in sub tab with focus on it you can do a lot of customization here based on your logic first for our demo we are already going to use a number that exists in the external contact list As you can see in the screen, since the number already exists in the external contact list in Genesis Cloud, we now only have this voice record page. Basically, this is the default voice record page. And if we look at our logic here, it simply took the transfer to ACD path. But if I call from the number that doesn't exist in the Genesis external contact list, we will have the contact form pop up. Let's see that in the action. As you can see here, this view is completely different than the view what we saw before. Before, it just took the normal path and showed the default voice record page. But now, we have this new contact form in our screen. It opened two different sub-tabs. The first sub-tab is the voice page and the second sub-tab is new contact page. As we also mentioned that star sign in front of the URL, which basically brought this contact form in the focus here. Now the agent can simply fill up the form and save the contact. If you want to go further and pre-populate the Salesforce record page on the participant information from Architect, you can do so by formatting the Salesforce URL under set participant data in the Architect. You can learn more about it in this resource center article. Format Salesforce URL for new record screen pop. In this video, you saw how you can screen pop in CX Cloud based on your architect logic. Hope you like this feature and thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at tamstudios at genesis.com. See you on the next one. Thank you.